Hello and welcome back, my name is Scorpios, and this week I am presenting to you this greenhouse which I had just built in creative mode. And if you follow the Hermitcraft series, you will be able to tell that I drew heavy inspiration from Gurian's Season 7 starter base, as well as the Gurian barge in the Season 7 shopping district. But with that said, this build is not an exact replica of any of those creations, and instead, I will be commenting on my thought process as I was building up this greenhouse. So I hope you guys enjoy this video, and let's get started. To get this project started, you are going to lay down a foundation using dark oak planks, and I'm going to leave a six block space in between each one of the pillars. And the next step is pretty simple. I'm just going to connect the pillars that I just laid down. As you can see here, I'm just placing down some more dark oak planks and creating a belt that is two blocks wide on the ground level. And this is going to provide us a foundation on which the walls of this greenhouse are going to be. And after that, I'm just going to get rid of the large patch of grass blocks that is in the middle here. And I'm going to replace the ground here with campfires. And after putting out the campfires with some water, a part of my building process which you are not seeing because I did not render it, I'm just going to take some sponges and soak up all of the water so that what is left is a very nice looking wooden floor. But as you can see here, as I was placing down the campfires, I made sure to randomly switch up the directions of my block placement, and this way you are left with a floor pattern that doesn't look too boring. And after that, it is time to start building up the pillars, and the first thing that I'm going to do is to take some dark oak stairs, and I'm going to place them around the outside of the wood planks, with the stair side facing outward. And after that, I'm just going to put down four more blocks of dark oak planks on top of each pillar. And as you can see here, I'm just going to do that all the way around this build. And another thing that you can do, which I learned by watching Gurian's video, is to replace some of the dark oak planks with brown terracotta or brown concrete. And in my case, I'm replacing the third block above ground level for each pillar. And after that, it's time to build up the actual walls of this greenhouse. And as you can see here, I'm taking some light gray glass blocks. And I'm going to fill up the space behind the pillars with these glass blocks. And you can also copy what I'm doing on the screen right now by extending the pillars one block back. And I'm going to do the same thing over here on each one of the corners as well. And this way, it looks as if the glass walls are partitioned into large glass panels. And I think that this gives this greenhouse a nice realistic look to it. And once the glass walls are in place, the next step is to cap off the entire existing structure with another layer of dark oak planks like what you're seeing on the screen right now. And the next step is to start working on some decoration by adding in more details. And one of the things that you could do here is to place dark oak fence gate all the way around the glass walls. And that will make it look as if there is extra support structure holding the glass walls together. And another thing that I'm going to do here is to decorate the main entrance of this greenhouse. And as you can see here, I'm using a combination of dark oak stairs, half slabs, and dark oak planks to create some type of decorative pattern. And since I'm doing this in creative mode, I can afford to go back and forth and chisel out the details until I am happy with the design. But you can also pause the video here and copy my design block by block. And to finish up the work here, I'm just going to place down some extra dark oak stair blocks along the top edges of the pillars. And after that, it's time to work on the top portion of this greenhouse. And the way that I'm building these arches is not super complicated. Directly on top of each one of the pillars, I'm going to place down three dark oak planks, top it off with a stair block and another stair block facing the opposite direction, with another dark oak plank on top, and the six extra stair blocks going towards the center like this. 
and three extra half slabs placed down in a upside down L shape like this. And after that I'm just going to repeat the same process for each one of the pillars. And that is going to create the support structure for the upper portion of this greenhouse. And as you can see here, I'm just going to replicate the same structure and eventually forming six huge arches. And on both ends of this greenhouse, I'm going to put in some extra support structures. And as you can see here, I'm making a bit of a Y-shape frame by building the middle pillar here up four blocks. And I'm just going to put in some extra stair blocks and connect the frame up to the arch. And the next thing is to install glass panels on the upper portion of this greenhouse. And as you can see here, I'm just going to place three extra layers of glass blocks right above the existing glass walls. And I'm just going to do that all the way around like this. And finishing the glass walls here on each end of this greenhouse is a little bit tricky. So I'm going to start by placing down a solid block behind each one of the stair blocks that I just placed down. And after that, all that is left is to fill in the rest of the space with glass blocks. And I guess that the one thing that I would suggest here is to make sure that the glass walls do not go over the existing wooden frame. And yeah, once you work out the shape of one of the ends of this greenhouse, it is actually very easy to fill in the rest of the space because all you have to do is to extend the glass walls like what you're seeing here. So basically here, I'm just connecting up all of the wooden arches that I had just completed earlier. And I'm creating a bit of a half glass tube. And the shape of this glass tube is exactly the same as the large window wall that I had just created on one end of this greenhouse. So depending on the size of your greenhouse build, the exact number of glass blocks that you will be using here may not look exactly the same as what I'm doing here. But that is basically my thought process behind what I'm doing here on the upper portion of this greenhouse. And to finish up the building process here, I'm just going to seal up the other end of this glass tube with some dark oak planks and some glass blocks. So that is all I have for this week, a greenhouse which I built in creative mode. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing if you have not done so yet. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.